kind of like you know when you're in your late twenties, Deacon. Uh, <laughs> and you're I. Kind of, and you're sure. kind of solidifying that you're no longer a piece of shit, like how you I've... used to be when you were nineteen, twenty. Nope, haven't touched that part yet. Really? <laughs> no, so I'm, I'm twenty six. Okay. So let me try to explain this. I, I don't know how I'm gonna articulate this properly, but um, and this, I guess, this kind of relates to me uh, creating content too. Is right now, it's really tough to want to kind of like reach out and be a caricature of myself almost. Yes. Or kind of like play a specific role or a specific part or be a specific type of creator based on like where I want to go and where my projections are and stuff like that. It's kind mm -hmm. of hard to act in that manner when my mental capacity for that kind of level of fuckery, you know what I mean? Like I don't I don't feel like sitting in front of my screen and screaming at, you know, live reactions and all this other dumb shit and yeah, you know, saying the wildest shit I can possibly think of. Uh, I'm just not there anymore. Whereas my, the other side of my brain is like, yo, but you have to do these. Things. You know what I mean? Where it's like, yeah. you used to behave a, a specific way. You used to be like this. And it's like, you still have the urge to do those things. Like you're still that person. But like, you don't, I don't know if I'm explaining it right. You just don't want to do those things. You know what I mean? No, like I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, not like you're too tired or anything. You're just like, man, I'm above that now. And it And it seems like it's a, weird place for me as a creator because uh six years ago when i started the solo channel i was like yo damn i've been doing this fucking channel for six years i only got a seven thousand subs this is the most disrespectful shit <laughs> they need to so, look out for you when i first started doing it this is when like uh dudes like shick as clouds I, I remember i was watching jace hall at the time who else was i was watching i was watching freddie wong uh, there was a bunch of different content creators I was watching at that time that I wanted to emulate. But as I've gotten older and I've aged faster than my channel has grown, I can't really implement that change effectively. You know what I mean? Where like it seems yeah. like it's a very small margin of like 32 videos. You know what I mean? Like if I made yeah. a total, maybe I've probably had like a hundred and some odd videos in between today and you know, when I first started my channel and I made fucking Naruto videos. But, like, the mentality seems like it's... it. There wasn't progression there because it's yeah. so quick and over such a long period of time. And so I don't feel like I can produce the same type of content that I did before. So, which also makes me... I Kind of going back now because now I'm just talking in fucking circles. Now that I'm older and I'm getting older, I feel old. And it kind of sucks because I looked in the mirror today and I was like, yo, I'm actually becoming an, a fucking, I'm hitting my thirties, bro. Like, I feel it. And I felt it. And like, I really had this weird epiphany moment. I was like, yo, how do I level up from here? You know, like, where do, where do I go? What's, what's, what's next? This, my original idea was this YouTube shit was going to be working a little bit. You know what I mean? Like a lot better. I wasn't gonna be making no millions of dollars. That was never on the docket. I promise you that was no. Yeah, on the that's docket. that's uh huh, hundred percent. That's when I start paying the homies for no reason. Like, yo, nigga, you breathing today? Here you go, break you off ten G's. You know what I mean? Like, like that's that's different. But my position has really altered. I guess the original goal was you know make make enough money for a living on YouTube and then find a an actual job. Like, like yeah. you know, a host or podcast or, you know, something else, some other shit. And all the YouTube coonery was supposed to pay for that. But now it's just seeming like. The more you go into it, the less likely that seems to be the case. Right, 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 right. And that's not YouTube's fault. And that's not like, you know, yeah. a huge issue or anything like that. Because, you know, I've been complaining about being stuck at 7,000 subs since fucking last year. <laughs> the day before forever, yeah. Day before forever, exactly, yeah. And so I realized that, yo, maybe, maybe the growth isn't in this section. It's time to alternate. And I really feel like it's like trying to get out. It's like how we were just talking, um, you know, off the podcast about, uh, you know, the white man and how, how, basically, <laughs> how basically, you know, white people tell you to do something and, you know, you kind of entertain that for a little bit because, you know, you try to get out the hood. Yeah. But it's weird because if you spent too long in the hood, your mentality is just like, oh. Either I'm never leaving. leaving. Yeah, I'm never leaving. That's it. How do I create this extra 
avenue source to eat, you know? Yeah. So that's that's kind of what I was rambling about for six and a half minutes. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> I'm just I'm just using this shit as an excuse to have therapy. You know what I mean? No, nah, because it it sucks because I'm I feel the same way with Twitch right now. I've been streaming on there for like four or five years, longer than that, but five years at least consistently to its point. And it's like I don't I don't want to do it. It's it's not that I don't have fun or anything. It's like this isn't a means to an end for me. You know, at the end of the day, I have to find something that's actually going to support me. This is just a hobby I do. Right. But it's it's discouraging because, you know, you hear it all the time. Like, oh, follow, you know, your dreams, do what you want to do, all that shit. That doesn't mean anything when you don't have, you know, when it's not going to feed you. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even on the off chance that it did, you know, you're grateful for it. You're just like, I don't expect this thing to happen. But if it did, that'd be cool. It, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's That's tough, man. That's <clears> fucking <throat> tough. And I'm, I guess the whole purpose of this conversation is trying to figure out, like, I guess you and me both can brainstorm and Plank too, um, since he's in here with us. Um, <laughs> now he's playing Destiny. The, yeah, he's playing Destiny. But what, what do you think, like, is the solution for that? Like, if you're, if you're really, like, uh, take for an example. You got a day job, then you come home and you stream or you make YouTube videos and stuff like that. And it's like, you feel like, not even feel. There is explicit evidence showing that that's not going to be it for you. Like this is not where your extra money is gonna come from. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like this is not this is not the side hustle. It's that's not it for you, you thought. Yeah. Sorry, you're barking up the wrong tree on this one. And it's it's like, what do you do? Especially when you're passionate about it, but you're bad at it. Yeah. It's 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 rough because then you have to either you have to do two either one of two things. You have to you have to either come to terms with it and realize this is not for me not to the professionals but the people who are better at it than i am or you give it your all and you know try and fight the fight the current of of not neglect of negativity that's going to come your way right on top of trying to balance your own mental fucking health and like yeah crazy like yo when am i gonna get the next viewer or and then you got to worry about working that actual job you still have, too. Oh, my God. And then the bullshit that that comes with. Holy shit. And I don't know if most people have, like... And it's also really weird during a pandemic time, too. Because you're just like, yo, this is... This feels like an opportunity. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. You know, God, God you know, bless the dead. But, you know, 210,000 people died. And I'm trying to figure out my career while y'all... Like, you know exactly. What I mean? like, I, like, I'm not... I'm not trying to say, like, oh, he's... These people had to die for me to have a career, but I'm saying one is coming with the other. I don't like yeah. it, but listen. But at the same time, <laughs> that at the same time, that thought process is like people who want to be in the position to just create content. Right now, they're looking at it like this is my chance. Everyone's stuck at home. Blah 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 blah. Right, and then people right. who already make content, like streamers and YouTubers, are like, "This is just more competition. More people trying to come in." And then the people that are already at home, they go to who they know. So it's like, it, it almost seems like people who don't make content want to start making content. People who make content want to find a job. You know? Right. Right. Mm. Right. Exactly. Man, you hit the nail on the head with that one because <laughs> I, as I knew, this was. January, February. Even I was even talking to you guys about this. In January, I was like, "Yo, this is this is my year to double down. I need to make some type of significant money creating any type of content." You know, and I was I was even talking about, "Okay, I'm going to diversify with Twitch. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, you know, create a side business or whatever." Uh and I remember you and me, Deacon, we had, you know, ideas, "Oh, let's let's start this anime review channel or whatever." And I gave Arrow the money to to make. I can't believe I gave Arrow money for something I did not use. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe we gave Arrow money to begin with. I can't believe. It. Yeah. Anyway, us and Arrow and money don't mix. So, shout out Fiverr. Uh, yeah, shout out to Fiverr. Um, but no, really, if I wanted to create this channel and had this idea of let's have me and four of my closest friends, whether they be online, in real life, or whatever, and just create this anime network or you know nerd network really and just create content every single day kind of like game ranks but for anime you know what i mean yeah and no i so got you. that was kind of my idea and i was like man these guys are you know i don't know how much i'm not pocket watching or anything but i'm sure these guys are making enough money to where you know they have multiple offices they have tons of equipment you know 
I'm sure the 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 business aspect of it is really good. Um, Shit, pocket watching. Yeah, I mean, I'm not pocket watching. I'm just pocket observing. You know, pocket. <laughs> I'm, I'm pocket glancing. Fuck. Hey, my nigga, I see you got the large drink. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get like you. You know what I mean? You, you so, buy Chick Fil A for the office? What you yeah, mean? Yeah. What you mean? Everybody get pizza, Jake Baldino? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand you. What you mean? We got three toppings on this bitch? Like, you know what I mean? So I'm, my goal has, I guess, from day one, and I guess I even thought this way in 2008. Like when I was first doing jackass sketches and putting those on YouTube oh, with our God. little sidekick and razor phones and oh, no. uh, fil filming each other go down the hill in fucking shopping carts and shit. 0.5 uh, megapixels. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, times are different back then, man. <laughs> I, I knew even then I was like, yo, I'm, I'm supposed to do something. I don't know what it is. And I still, to this day, I have not, I don't think a day has gone by where that mentality has aged not just aged but experienced or changed in any way it's gotten bigger like the idea of it like in 2008 i was like okay yeah i want to post videos for my friends that are that think this is funny and we're going to emulate yeah. jackass and johnny knoxville and bam margera and all these guys okay cool yeah our friends think this shit is funny and at one point in time i was doing that in you know 2010 when this is like when i first graduated high school oof and man yo one of my you buddies are. his bro i was different i was different then man i went from being a, a drug dealer to a fucking to a businessman real quick in a span of two years and um at the time my buddy's dad he owns multiple spots on melrose right i was like yeah. yo we could just throw a house party and film it oh, and then yeah. try and then you know create this whole promo program and make a video production team that was the first time i really like like went from uh, a hood nigga to successful nigga, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, yo, this is different. And so I even operate with that same mentality today, where like this is this is the road that I want to go down, you know? Yeah. And um, which is which is why I admire you so fucking much because no matter how much like, and we were talking about this off the podcast, no matter how much you take two weeks off and you'll like develop this or like you know play this game or do this thing or have this new hobby or whatever for two three weeks at a time you've stayed dedicated to that shit like you would not i wish I, once again i truly admire you would like pick something and you'd be like i'm gonna double down on this bitch don't nobody talk to me about anything else except for this <laughs> thing i'm focusing on i'm like yo how do you do that like that's that's wild how my man's doing this so um but i guess Can the whole point of, i guess the whole point of rambling again is just i don't know man i'm tr I'm trying different stuff and it just it's not yeah. that it's not working i i feel like i'm I, it's a cross between being unprepared and being impatient and they're kind of crossing each other all the time yeah and, it's, and they're slapping it up, up upside each other and it's just like yo I, stop ow ow uh, you know what i mean like Bro, that's my ass stop <laughs> that's my ass on my face um <laughs> so you know, and uh, it's it's really got me doing a lot of changes. And uh, I got though another reason why I wanted to invite you on the podcast anyway is because I had this idea I wanted to talk to you about. Hit you me. know me and my wild, goofy ass Scrooge McDuck ideas and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's never gonna um, change. <laughs> never gonna change, bro. Never gonna change. So uh, I came up with this weird idea of diversifying my content and how i do things right so i've yeah. had this perfectionist mindset of it has to be perfect before i send it out so i'm changing that i'm changing it to everything is a rough draft until it's out Are you out it's out come on you've seen my streams ain't nothing ever going to be perfect oh, you man, gotta send that shit out exactly yeah that's the thing so i was thinking uh so i already made the new podcast channel i already made the anime okay. channel i've already made the you know the two other channels i'm supposed to have and you know gonna talk about like movie stuff and everything um i'm really thinking i'm gonna double down on that and i'm gonna try to leverage my credit that i have basically all the lines of credit that i have and then utilize that to run ads on some of the doper content that i have and then try to get more listeners get more followers and stuff and accumulate more actual equity yeah and i'm thinking of i'm thinking of starting a a game studio oh okay calm down 
I know, I know. It sounds it sounds weird and it sounds ambitious, but like I've always not just a game studio, but I guess kind of like an entertainment studio in general because I've I've always been really good with the process of everything, but not necessarily the implementation. You know what I mean? Like I can come up with point A, B, C, D, and then how to get all those things to work properly is just very disorganized in my you know massive Negro skull. Yeah. That I can't I can't get out what it is that I'm trying to do. Yeah, big black um, big black brain. A big black brain syndrome, exactly. Yeah. See, I'm glad you're aware. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really just a blight. A lot of a lot of us. You know, black men have, and, and some women have it too. It's it's outrageous. I feel bad for them. Yeah, uh, black bitch brain. All right, it's all, relax. It's all BBB. It's all BBB. <laughs> BBB. <laughs> it's all BBB. Listen, anyway, so me just coming up with that idea, I'm just like, damn, how do I how do I implement the steps of this? And I think it's really hindering on how successful I am as a content creator. Mm. And like that has to be. The goal because i'm an it guy now this is like the furthest thing from when i originally started and i was like doing music videos and making movies and shit like that for no money and now i'm doing something i really don't fuck with and i'm making more money than i ever have you know? yeah so it's like well shit i gotta do something with all this and i i need that secondary pocket and that third wallet and that you know fourth income and that you fifth man to, bag. That fifth man bag, you know what I mean? My Merce. Gotta yeah, carry my Merce. You know? got you. That's my Merce. I don't know you. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I got to use that to acquire another bag. And I'm thinking, um, I'm like, all right, well, building a studio is pretty, pretty easy. I've made production companies before. I've ran LLCs before. I've done this. I've done that. But I know the process of, like, building these things. I just, you know, your man's ain't got the equity. I Amazing feel that equity. So, you know. Yeah. And I was I was wanted to bring this conversation up to you specifically cuz you know way more you stuck in 6 months longer in game development than I did. 6 months. Went, long? How long were you in there? 6 months. <laughs> Bitch, I was there for 3 years. <laughs> so, exactly. Several years several months longer than me. So, I, this is how I knew it wasn't for me when I learned what the process of creating games was from start to finish. It's a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the ass. But if you hire the right leader for every single position, would you say that it becomes so much easier when you have somebody who knows that specific section of the things that they're supposed to be doing? I would say it's not a pain in your ass. It becomes a pain in their ass. Because no matter how much experience you have running a development team, it's going to suck for somebody. Some, but like you said, if you do if you do find somebody that knows what they're doing and all that, then yeah, it's it's a fairly smooth experience for the the I would guess I would say the investor, you know. Okay, that's interesting because I feel like that is very similar to the way movies are made because. Except with movies and films and doing anything, there's several middlemen that are supposed to do the job of the one overarching person. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, this weird yeah. stem tree thing. Yeah. So, but you know, these are, once again, these are all just changes that I'm making in life. And I was like, yo, this, this might be a pretty dope idea. If I had like a company that licenses ideas and we turn it into a video game or we turn it into a short film or we shoot music videos or anything like that. Because I have the fucking equipment. Yeah. You know I mean, like, it's just kind of chilling in my house. Like, I got lights, I got cameras, I got fucking all this other shit. I got, I got everything but action. Oh, That's shit. the problem. I got everything but action. So, you know, and I, I don't know. I, I just, all these lie, hopes and dreams, life and shit like that. And stuff yeah. Just really not turning out the way I thought it was. No, I feel that. So, you know, but, and I've even had this conversation with Plank before. Like, I'm just like, man. Oh, if I could just, if I could just get this one thing out of the way, you know, like it's, it's always something like, like you've known me a really long time now, Deacon, what, like three years, three years longer, now? longer than that, sadly, longer than that, damn, oh <laughs> my God, oh my God, I'd say probably, fuck, maybe 20, either 2014 or 15 is when I joined that other server. 
That's what we call it now, the other server. I did, I almost left it the other day looking at my server list. I'm like, why the fuck am I still in here? You want me to kick you, bro? If you want to, yeah, that might be the the negative reinforcement I need. See, now here's here's a very interesting thing. So we could we could actually talk about this. Um, I'm not gonna go into explicit detail. Plank was waiting for it. Plank was ready. He's just like he's just like I know Jay goes. He gonna bring this shit up. So I wanted to talk about my exchange on Twitter the other day. <laughs> What about all those people seen, that like to comment, huh? What I have about? never oh, no. seen so many Raise people. Raise your hand. I have never seen so many people suddenly want to interact with just Jason. I, I know. Was, I I don't know what it is, but all of a sudden, niggas was messaging me. Hey, are you okay? Is everything all right? You wildin', bro. I'm like. What happened, man? What happened, man? I'm just <laughs> like, yo, y'all did not give a shit. And here's. Let me just get this out of the way. Here's the part that bugs me the most. Niggas will come to my motherfucking streams. Niggas will come to my motherfucking videos. Everything that I put out on my Instagram posts, on Twitter. Jay, what happened to you in Heavenly? Jay, what happened to you in Heavenly? Bitch, this is old I, news! I, this is not only old news. It's a year old now. This is not only old news, but I don't ever see... The reverse you know what i mean i don't i don't ever say hey, heavenly what happened to jay i don't what ever see be? nobody asking heavenly controller what happened to just jay sama are you jay sama why am i don't given given i will give benefit of the doubt my audience is drastically smaller drastically like i've been in this man's twitch streams his fucking uh instagram lives all this shit and the chat is just going crazy so the few instances i've never had anybody come and ask me like hey we saw this or heavenly said this. Well, this is the only reason why I've never publicly talked about like except for with the homies, because these are homies I trust and just to don't talk shit and we don't share shit like that. Yeah, no, nah, to be fair, if anybody who needed to know already knows what happened. A exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So and if he don't say nothing publicly, then I'm definitely not gonna do it because I feel like that's very messy of me. You know what I mean? Like it's a, but, it's, it's but in between at the same time, I mean? fuck him. I mean, I guess, but that's just not me. That's the only thing. That's oh, not me. write and a so, book. Let's write a book. Let's write a book. That's not me, bro. Damn. That's not me. That, I the can memoirs. talk about it in a podcast. I ain't gonna write it in no damn book. Ain't nobody gonna read it. Um, <laughs> remember, Quit longer. Got, where you at? I only got what? If I had to guess, maybe two hundred active subscribers out of seven thousand. Yeah, bro. That shit. That book ain't getting sold. I promise you, it's not. I'll buy so, three. Shut up, nigga. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway in this exchange uh i don't even have it pulled up this man heavenly said some shit i know exactly what he said off the top of my head <laughs> it's it's weird because just a week ago i was like yo deacon heavenly followed me back on twitter i was like oh, okay we must be cool and i had a conversation with arrow about this too and arrow said well that probably you know you, you responding the way you did probably wasn't right because you guys didn't establish the rapport of having a conversation about you being cool again so it and then arrow told me he's like yeah so you're probably thinking it's cool but he's probably just reciprocating like oh okay this we're going yeah. somewhere this is going to open up into and, a conversation at some point. and then you told arrow give me my money back right and then i told arrow give me my money back <laughs> so <laughs> but uh, under under my under my like thought process yeah. i thought it, you know the follow follow and follow back exchange and the liking of tweets i thought that was okay so we must be cool there must mm -hmm. be a conversation that's gonna be happening mm -hmm. this. and this is where i fucked up i overestimated because i assume the same nigga i was talking to is the same satirical nigga i used to live with is the same satir satirical nigga i met six years ago you know when we were like oh let's start youtube channels type shit and I it's know just about that, that that's not it that wasn't that's, that's not, not i'm not clearly not talking to the same person so when i tweeted that shit I was thinking, oh, he gonna think this shit is funny. He gonna think no. this shit is like the highest level of satire. Ooh. You know, I never leave my friends behind. Um, nigga, um, <laughs> yeah, hey, you wanna talk about that? Remember and I told I, when I told this to Arrow, I was like, Arrow, originally I wanted to use the John Cena meme that said, you know, are you sure about that? But he was like, that probably would have been funnier than just um because now that yeah. it open open to interpretation. So that's where I fucked up. A gif you can at least um, interpret it funny words are words yeah you words can't, are words like you can you, intend like you oh, can't tell somebody's show. tone over the internet right 
Right, right. Yeah, so that's that's kind of where I fucked up. Because I will admit this. I will admit this 100%. I still owe that nigga $2,000. I'm not even... I'm, I'm a man of my word. I'm, I've always wanted to be a man of my word. There, if there's a few things that just Jay Sama will fucking do, will acknowledge when he's wrong. Yeah, will owe you $2,000. I will owe you $2,000. Yeah, but you will get your fucking money back. I'm broke. Well but you be will fair. get your motherfucking money back. To be fair, okay, hold on. How deep are we going into this? Like, um, I just don't want to talk about what ha- like the initial okay. thing that that separated it. So, so that, if that, I that's old news. That's just I was gonna say if I said you do owe him two thousand dollars, but he did have supermarket sweep when he left. That's fine. That's okay, because that's 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 within. You know what I mean? Like, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. And it's not. I don't want to get too messy with it because I feel like that's tacky on my part, especially, bro. I it just it just doesn't feel good. It makes me feel grimy. You're you're a better man than me because I would oof after that, man. I I feel like I deserved a couple low blows or it's, something. I mean, to be honest with you, it's only because when I got my frustration out the first time, yeah, it was it was more so like, oh, me and this nigga gotta throw hands. Like it was it was I it was some still shit think that was like. Should. See, that's See, Col- the, that's Kobe gonna be situation. gone next season. Kobe Anime Expo coming up. Coughing on niggas. Nah. Anyway, <laughs> what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, at the time, I was at my peak levels of like frustration, anger, disdain. Like there was nothing. There was yeah. no. There was no idea of like this could come back. Like I can't go backwards from. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now that we're pretty much almost exactly a year later, I'm just kind of like. It has not so, only been a year. It's not only been a year, but like that happened. It's it's whatever. It's not even it's, a big it's deal. Only like, been a year. It's only been a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I feel like this as happened of, seven years ago. As of September first, twenty nineteen, bro. Oh man. So you know, but I mean, Damn. it is what it is. I mean, I'm kind of at a place where like, okay, the homie ship, you know, was was always, you know. Or a lack of better words, it was deeper than rap. Okay. I mean, like it was it was one of those things where like, even though we wasn't cool, even the times when we weren't cool, I was like, Oh yeah, that's still my nigga. Like if somebody pulled up on him or whatever, and he hit me up, he's like, Jay, I need some help or whatever. Bro, I I'm in route. I'm on the way. Even though I did not like this motherfucker. Cause I know it's like okay. I I guess strange. I can understand. That's like if you and me if you and me got into it, right? And we yeah. got into an argument. Or, and, and somebody, somebody crossed you, you know what I mean? And like, rather we was talking or not, and you hit me up, and that's how I knew you was desperate. That's how I knew you needed a <laughs> homie. Because not only would you hit me I up, didn't call anybody like, else. Even if you did call 17 other people, and they all told you yes. And you were like, you know what? Let me get this other nigga over here. <laughs> even though we hadn't talked, and it say it'd been like a year or whatever, I still would have rode out for you. I got I still, you, yeah. because Because our... Our situation is deeper than rap. You know what I mean? Like, like, and for me and this nigga, we we didn't share all types of shit together. We didn't share food. We didn't broke bread. We didn't make money together. Like everything. Like we was, we, you know, we was actually like brothers. And these are his words, not mine. Like when when he was describing uh, his situation, moving in with me to his parents, they were like. Okay, yeah, that that makes sense. You guys have been hanging out, like you guys have been really good friends, and like you have pictures with all these other people, but you don't have pictures with him. And his his response was, "Well, it's deeper than that. We don't we don't need pictures." He need told pictures. his parents, "You know, we don't need no pictures. That's my nigga." So I'm like, "That's all yeah, right for sure." You you explaining it this way, it makes sense because I've been through that with Baldo. Like it's almost exactly what you're saying. And don't ask, know, me to on, don't ask me to ride out on Baldo, though. Like, if that no, nigga ever crossed you, hey, no, no, no. we gonna go get Baldo. I'm gonna be like, you going on your you, own. You going by yourself. <laughs> you going by yourself. I will be at Kaiser Permanente I, Community yeah. Hospital waiting I don't for nigga, you. I don't need that nigga digging a 12-foot hole, okay? <laughs> like, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool, bro. I'm cool. Uh, but no, like, I get what you're saying now, but, like, it wasn't exactly the same. I mean, like, it's probably not reciprocated, though. No, I what do you mean? This. It's definitely not reciprocated. Oh, 100%. probably not. 100%, but 100% I can guarantee you on his end, I, it's not that way. 
I can't get over like he left you high and dry, bro, to deal with all that by yourself. I can't yeah, get over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's, that's like that's the worst part to me. Is like he did, he gave no fucks. He was like, all right, later, with like no other word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It sounds it sounds wild. It definitely. Sounds, it doesn't sound wild. It is it's wild. Outrageous. Yes, I understand. I understand. But I I can say this now. If you would have okay. had this, if we would have had this conversation. Even six, six seven months. months ago, about seven months ago, if we would have had this conversation seven months ago, it wouldn't. I wouldn't have had the same explanation I have now. I feel like you can only say that because in the end, it worked out for you. Well, it had to. Well, it no shit. Had to, bro. I'm, I'm like, if you were like on the streets right now or in my back room right now, it'd probably be a different conversation. Yeah, it'd, it'd be a definitely. It, yeah, it'd be a real, real insane conversation. So, <laughs> and I also say this. Because of the type of person I am and the type of person that I know him to be, I guess it, I don't know if that's right to say, but like People you don't just change, loan, man. you just you just don't loan a homie that amount of money and just you know be like it's cool, you know what I mean? Like he, um, I, even even during our last exchange, he was like, don't even worry about it, keep it, you know, because I needed it for an emergency. And I was like, no, 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 nigga, I'm, I'm, even if I got to give you $5 a day for, you know, a couple years. 37 still years, gonna, yeah. 37 years, I'm still going to give you this money back or whatever. And so that's my mentality of uh, I'm always going to do right by my friends even when they don't do right by me. That's yeah, but at the same time, he probably gave you that money knowing it wasn't coming back. That's why I'm working so hard to, you know, I got to get this nigga his money back. He, oh, you wasn't expecting it, nigga. <laughs> In your mailbox was good. <laughs> yeah, but at the same th- at the same time, I'd be like sending Bill Gates a hundred bucks right now as the situation has changed. But it's not, like it's not about the money. It's about the it's about the character and the principle at that point. Because yeah, and- if he needed it, if he needed it, right? Yeah, that's a different that's a different thing. Because yeah, then that's- I'd be I'd be striving to like, oh, I gotta get you this money back because you need it. But the fact that you don't need it, and I'm still trying to give it to you. It feels better to me, and it feels better on my character. Like, it makes me feel better to know that, yeah, even though you didn't need it, you weren't asking for it, I strived to give it back to you. Okay, I mean, that's good and all on your character. That's good for you. It's but for at the same time... It's t- for him. No, yeah, no, it's yeah. for you. I get it, I get it. But at the same time, that's like bringing a cup of water and pouring it in the ocean. Like, I got you. I got... Did I borrow, you know? did I borrow, some, did I borrow a cup or not? Did a nigga borrow a cup or not? You got hit by a wave and you swallowed some by accident. Listen, bro. That's wild. That's wild. I gave it back. That's the purpose. I gave it back. It feels like right I gave it back. That's all. That's all I give a fuck. I don't care if you King Triton, King Neptune himself, my nigga. Here you go, dog. Here you go. Hey, I those dudes. Yep. I, I know you didn't need this, but it's all good. So, but I don't know, man. This this was a very interesting exchange, and it was very interesting to see the not just the number of people, but the actual. Like people themselves, like who reached out to me and was just like, "Have you looked at the comments on that? Like the the replies to that tweet?" Uh, not since yesterday. No. Half of them are like, "Oh man, I've called you in the middle of the night crying," and the other half are like, "The cap on this app." <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking. I know who that was. Um, <laughs> but no, nah, man, it's just it's just interesting because I. I'm more so, and I guess this is why I'm kind of like talking about it on the podcast now, is because of the the specific people that reached out to me. Yeah. And I want them to know, like, listen, this is not my this is not my character. Like, I don't want you thinking like I do other homies like this. You know what I mean? Like, I just thought it was a funny satirical joke that was like, oh, okay, like. Well, did you know the floodgates like, opened, bro. I thought I thought it was gonna be funny. I thought everybody was gonna be like, "Oh, okay, this is hilarious." Now niggas is just like, "Damn, Jay, you ain't have to do them like that." And like this, this. What do you mean funny. I'm doing them like that? I'm like, wait a minute, well, hold up. Any other time, you niggas don't give a fuck what the fuck I'm talking about. What the like? Fuck? Why all of a sudden some... niggas want to interact with me and be like, "Ooh, like coming out the woodworks and shit." I've been following you since you was in your third, since your third <laughs> upload, Jay. I can't believe you doing this to Heavenly, like. I've, what's weird is I've had people reach out to me off that one tweet I, I posted, <laughs> and the fucking they're like, 
oh man, you know, I've been working overtime for the last two months. What happened? I'm like, two months, motherfucker. This has been two years almost yeah, in the this making. Is, this is. They're like, oh, what happened? I'm like, bro, if you don't know by now, then you're not in anybody's inner circle. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, man, you know, I just, I have a specific threshold and level for myself of the type of person that I want to be and the type of person that I act like. And I I always want to stay above that level somehow. And I really feel like this this specific situation, I kind of, not dipped below it, but like, I like. We can be slapped, petty sometimes. I slapped the line a little bit and didn't intentionally mean to do it. You know what I mean? You put, I was just like, you put your, you stomped your foot. Said the line is right here. This is the line. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I was just, I don't know. I, I, all this shit is just so strange to me. And as an adult, it just seems really weird. Cause uh, I even feel a little weird talking about it, like out loud. You know, especially in a recorded platform too. Oh um, man. Yeah, it just it feels really weird because as as far as I know, nobody has said anything to me. Uh none of these, you know, higher ups on YouTube that we're mutuals with, uh none of our mutual friends. But matter of fact, I wouldn't even consider some of these people mutual friends because after me and him wasn't cool no more, all them people didn't fuck with me no more. Yeah, he did, so, he did, he did. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I'm just like, um, okay. And it really makes me feel like, like, I guess the only person I really fuck with like that is Herm. But I feel like he kind of, I don't know where he's at, but I can't, I can't even <clears throat> suggest where that man is at with his yeah. process on it. He's probably just like, this is none of my business for all I know. But like, we've had mutual friends that I've hit up and they'd be like, oh, okay, that's cool. And just won't even talk to me. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, leave me on red type, type of shit. And I'm just like. All right, whatever. That really makes me feel like as a person, like y'all was really only fucking with the sidekick until he wasn't the sidekick no more. Yep. So it was like they were going, man, if they can get in there, I can get in there. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was like, and it was not like, oh, let me get cool with Jay so that way I can be cool with Heavenly type beat, but it was type it, beat. Yeah, it was more so like, oh, well, I'm cool with Heavenly, so I guess I, I gotta be cool to this other dude, and so, you know, it just. I don't know. I don't know, man. That shit don't... I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit at all, and I, I don't follow none of them people. I don't fuck with none of them people. It just, it just feels mad disrespectful. Now, on the other token, you know who's a good example of doing the exact opposite? My man, Yonko. Who's and, that? Uh, so he's the black Australian dude that came and visited uh, last year when we were at Anime <clears throat> Expo. Mm. And um, he makes a lot of One Piece videos. And other stuff I, I don't think he i wonder why i never heard of him yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but i'm gonna i'm gonna look him up after this he's a dope dude though <laughs> he's a dope dude so he was supposed to do a branded deal with uh hype land right? okay and so uh he included me in the conversation because i let him stay at my place for a couple of days i was like yeah of course heavenly won't mind whatever you can stay at our place for a couple of days till you know your flight comes in because we expected the anime expo stuff to last longer but it didn't uh -huh. and uh He's like, you know what, Jay? Let me introduce you to some people. I said, oh, all right, that's cool. That's I cool. like people. Yeah, I like people. And so they was niggas. So I said, oh, these ain't people. <laughs> these ain't people. That's, yeah, that's all you had to say. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we go, we go to the manufacturing plant. And, um, oh. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Woo, it's a good thing I, I saw it. I saw it coming. I saw you it got canceled over coming. that comment, I man. I got canceled over that comment. So anyway. Uh, <laughs> So we go down to the Hypeland manufacturing plant. I meet the two owners. Uh, real cool dudes, man. And they just said, anything you want in the warehouse, just take it. I said, oh, huh? <laughs> so that's why, I got, that's why I got all the Hypeland gear and stuff. Fit. And they were like, they were like, yeah, you know, you're, you're a cool dude, blah, 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 blah. We like your channel, this, that, and the other thing. So we established a rapport. Even, even after, you know, Yonko went back to Australia. He went back home. These dudes still kept in communication with me. They were like, hey, we're going to do this. Do you want to make a... I was, I was like, y'all aware? I only have 7,000 subs right now, right? Y'all y'all aware? They were like, no, no, we cool. We cool. Just whatever you want, man. Just send, shoot us a text. <laughs> tell us which, whatever you want and where to ship it. I'm like, okay. Pull up. Yeah, but put your money where your mouth is. I told them, yo, let me get that Inu Inuyasha set. They said it's coming out next month. We're sending you something. Oh. Bad. So that's how Bad. it goes. 
Yeah, and I have all the Dragon Ball stuff that they can't release because they don't have the license for it. They were like, yeah, just go on and take it. We can't sell it. I was just like, yo, these are... So that, that I feel like is a complete opposite transition. You know what I mean? Where like this... Yeah. Is not, I think I had known Yonko for maybe four or five days prior to just saying, yeah, you can stay at my house. I got guns. I ain't worried about you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't tripping. Yeah, nigga, you can crash on the couch. I don't, I don't give a fuck, man. It's, this is my house. I don't give a fuck what, what the fuck Heavenly got to say. And so at the time, he had something to say. I said, well, if, if, the, if, if you really worried about that nigga staying here, you want me to shoot him? <laughs> like, I was like, I don't know, I don't know what you what you want me to do. The, the I will catch him flipping if that's yeah, what you man, want. Get a flight to Australia for four days, like you you tripping. And so I think that was, you know, whatever. Like, yeah, man. Anyway, <laughs> I think it's I think it's just very interesting to have uh, friends for the sake of having friends. I don't feel like I feel like at the point in my life now I don't want to make friends to have connections i i don't feel like that's like where i'm at right now maybe when i was like 24 25 i would be like oh yeah that's my homie he know such and such and whatever and we not really homies because i only talk to him when i need something you know what i mean exactly well, what what that's that's a normal thing that's like having old friends that you don't really talk to you know what i mean and then all of a sudden out the blue they hit you up Hey, you want to hang out? You know, this, that, the other, like, like friends from high school. Like, I don't know. Like, Deacon, do you talk to people from your high school? Fuck no. Yeah. Me neither. Them niggas well, did not turn out to be great people. Like, no, they turned out to be worse than I was. Yeah, honestly. Like, God. Your man's, just, your man's just trying to support a village. They trying to support kids. Whoo. I Ooh, cannot relate. We are not, we, are not the, we are not the same, my we brother. We are built I'm different. Sorry. Yes, completely different. But that's not to say, like, hey, your kids are a mistake or anything, but... No, they were. No, no, that's exactly listen, what you're saying. Listen, that's none of my business. You'll never <laughs> you, catch me saying that, because... How you going to graduate with a kid? That's tough. Yeah. That's tough. That is yeah, tough. I got a couple of friends like that. Yeah, no thanks. And I was the class clown, so I wasn't anybody's friend. I was everybody's entertainment. So it, oh, like, man. I had three people that I actually had friends. Friendship. Friend, I would call my friends. As I have a stroke. No, I mean, I talked to them after high school, but I haven't talked to them in about three years, four years, so. That's usually when stuff starts falling on credit. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> I mean, let's add a re-up, man. Shit, man. I, so, I just, I don't know. As I'm going through life and I'm making changes and I'm making adjustments and stuff like that, I look at situations like that where, like, there's a bunch of people from high school I don't fucking fuck with. Yeah. And there's, a, there's a bunch of people who I really, really used to fuck with. But we're just not on the same. I'm telling this right now. Matter of fact, let me look at the motherfucking camera. Because you know who the fuck you are. And oh, I don't no. fuck with you. Even though you want to fuck with me. I promise you, like, we used to be cool. We used to be friends. But, nigga, you just on a different wavelength. Like, we... You you doing some weird shit. I'm just trying to skate. Like, whatever the fuck it is you doing, I don't want to have no part mm. in whatever your wavelength is. You just feel different as a human. So, you keep getting evicted. Listen, listen. I, I saw it. I saw it when it happened. What I was saying was, those people are on a on a different wavelength now. Yeah. Like, like they operate differently. Can't they get that soul up, resonance. Exactly. They going up and down, up and down, and doing all sorts of crazy shit that I don't even. They're just energy is different. Their vibe is different. I just don't fuck with that. But I don't really have a way to articulate except for through this podcast and directly at you <laughs> <laughs> to tell you that I don't fuck with you. So. Um, but yeah, man, it's, it's, it's a crazy, it's a crazy situation, man. COVID not making it any better because I'm seeing a lot of people. I can't yeah, say not mistakes. the right moves. Yeah, no, definitely not. But, uh, you know, by not having a second, third and fourth project going on, I feel like I'm not making serious moves. So I can't really say. I don't know, man. I'm trying to get the second step. Chill. Could have been hmm. worth facts, bro. <laughs> oh, enough. Well, hold on. Some people still trying to get there first. Right, right. Damn. right. Yeah, there's still like I think it's like thirty some odd percent of people. I, I saw it on not CNN. So I don't know what the fuck it was, but I saw it somewhere 
that like 32 percent of people still haven't gotten their first, their first stim check. stimulus check and i was like damn that's that's a lot of people yeah that's like and it's not just like people who just haven't filed for it. it's people that filed and were eligible and still haven't received it man yo i i could not imagine what it's like to have like a full-on family and have no money coming in i i, I can't i can't fathom it it's I, I, rough i just i don't wow like just no money like you wake up and nothing to do negative feria negative negative feria okay dinero none <laughs> <laughs> Chris Tucker but, over here. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, I ain't got no you money. Got no money. <laughs> I ain't got no money coming in. Where the money? <laughs> Where the money, man? <laughs> Where my money, man? Um, but <laughs> you should have been paying anyway. this by now, too. Yeah, no, nah, definitely. Woo, let me stop. Uh, Part of the cards. But no, really, I tried, I was listening to uh, The Breakfast Club this morning, because as I do on my way to work all the time, because by the time their show is over, it's time for me to go to actually go to work. Um, and so they'll post it on Spotify, so I'll listen. And there was this one lady, and she was talking about how her house is now falling apart, and she's had zero income, she didn't get a stimulus check, she has four kids, and like the unemployment, and, and she lives in, I think she said Pennsylvania or somewhere? Uh, where like $300 they to them, they ball it. You know what I mean? Like $300 here, man, you'd be lucky if you can get a bowl of cereal. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> in LA, this shit is expensive, dude. Like, it really is. Everything here. Oh, you got $1,000 on you? Hold up, nigga. What you gonna, did, how you gonna eat? Did a homeless man just ask me for $1,000? Brother, what you gonna do with $1,000? You can't... You know a pack of gum is at least $1,500. Like... <laughs> You stuck. <laughs> you stuck, Mike. I don't know what to tell you. So I do wake up with a thousand dollars. What you gonna do for lunch? Oh man, I get nervous when my account is under a thousand dollars, man. I'd be like, yo. I say this with only twelve dollars in my bank account though. I was gonna I say I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't really say shit. I'm over here talking like oh man, you know man. Not money like that. Nah, I'm paying back bills. I use probably ninety percent of my income now. Just to pay back, like... Shit you already owe. Shit I already owe. Shit that I should have been paid. Shit that they took my car for, you know. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Not the yam car. Oh, my God. Not the yams. Uh, So, wait. I don't know, man. That's, that's a tough scenario to wrap around. Even with our political system being the way it is, man. Like, like Deacon, are you voting? Uh, yes. You voting right? Oh yeah, that's right. You live out San Bernardino though. They got yeah. Beckerwood City. Beckerwood City, but everything dangerous out there. That's yeah, cool. you don't want to go by uh Mr. Past Fifteenth Street uh yeah. south there. Ooh. They hide bodies out there and they don't look for them. <laughs> they do. <laughs> you can tell the cops I buried a body right here. They not gonna dig them up. No. As soon as you tell somebody, hey, I have a crime to report. Well, what is it, young man? It's in what? San Bernardino. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, I got dementia. Can you talk to somebody else, please? I'm sorry. We can't, we can't understand. You said San huh? Bernardino. What? Sir, you're breaking <laughs> up. Like, I'm standing in front of you. How am I breaking up? Officer, I'm, stand, I'm watching you on the phone. I'm across the street at the pay phone. Right. I'm using a pay phone, officer. What? Well, I don't uh -huh. think that's any of your business if I'm holding it with gloves or not. You don't care if I get COVID. I mean, it does smell like urine, yes, but listen, well, are you just... gonna take the tip or not? No. <laughs> so there's a shovel in the back of the department. You do it yourself. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> Go get it. You be a detective. <laughs> We're not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but hey, man, you know, I'm just I'm looking forward to a to a well welcome distraction. Like a new president, that'd be a wonderful welcome a distraction. A new president would be great, man. Prefer <laughs> Preferably one that's not white. That's that would be great. I would, I, I, I'll, I'll take one that's white. Just don't give me one that's orange. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that guy is, is fucking weird. But I will say this. I I will say this. Hundred percent. You can tell I'm getting excited about it because I have a lot to say about this motherfucker. The one thing that I do like about Donald Trump, uh -oh. this mother this motherfucker is a savage. 
runs the most savage campaign, got the most savage Classy. fucking team, bro. Oh my god. They're, Trump is undefeated, bro. <laughs> Trump is really the Mike Tyson of politics right now. He's he's bobbing fucking, and weaving. Bro, he bobs, he weaves, he bites your fucking ear off, don't even care, and then give you the two piece and a combo. You know what I mean? Like he give you the biscuit without a drink type B, you know? And I just I don't really <laughs> I, every time I see Donald Trump do something, like, have you seen, you guys have seen his Joe Biden attack ads, right? Yeah, FBI episode, coming for him. This episode is definitely not brought to you by Discord, for sure. Yeah. For sure or Spectrum. Yeah, or Spectrum. Well, Spectrum, they treat me good, but I, I'm just saying, like, Discord don't. What I'm saying is, <laughs> it's like his attack ads towards Biden, have you guys seen those? Yeah. Them yeah. shits is wild. The one with the nursing home he put out the other day. Oh, oh my god, man! I said Biden don't want to win, bro. He don't want to win. I I genuinely don't think Biden wants to win because <laughs> the level of savagery that you have to have to compete with this motherfucker. Like people will vote for Donald Trump just because he's a good meme lord. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. but we don't need a meme lord in chief. Shit, bro. We need a commander in chief. That's great and everything, but I don't take politics seriously. I'm a meme lord online, bro. Come on, what? You know, I'm a six. I'm a. I'm a twenty-some-year-old white kid on the internet. Oh my god, he's such a meme lord. Like he's so edgy. Like I'm gonna vote for Trump, man. Like it's just. I don't know, man. It's. <laughs> it just. I. I don't know. I, I sit and I think about it sometimes, and I just. It really makes me sad, and like sometimes I. I get genuinely depressed about it. Because I know once I go outside, there's like nobody that can benefit from me being okay. You know except what I mean? yourself. Except for you. Except for myself. And I live in a place that is such an exploitive society. I guess like America was built on fucking exploitation and shit. And so that that genuinely bothers me that that is not something people are willing to change, and they're so easily distracted by bullshit to yeah. not change the exploitation. I mean, why would they when it shows it, when it works in their favor? Because you can do both. You can, yeah, but you can you can make lots of money and be good to people. You know what I yeah, mean? but like, I'm benefiting already. So what the fuck do I care about other people? Because they'd benefit you more. They'd be happy to. You know what I mean? Like, like if you gave uh, somebody that worked for you more money, you think they're not going to work harder? I don't care. I got to give them more money. That's, that's just how they think, man. I didn't think about it that It's way. coming out of my pocket. Bro, now more is coming out of your pocket. I only yeah, want to exactly. pay... Listen, I only want to pay these Guatemalan s sweat slaves fucking 16 cents an hour. I don't want to give them 18. That's too much. Nah. Money. That's almost a dollar. 18 cents an hour times 365 days. That's at least eight bucks. Damn. How much money is that? <laughs> 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 I, really sat, I really sat here and tried to do the. the I said, damn, that almost is $8, I think. Let's <laughs> see. 0.18 times 365. 0.18 times. That's $65. Fuck it. You're getting eight cents a day now. You're giving somebody $65 a year? Nah, yeah. You know what? Let, never mind. Let me not. I clearly don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Capitalism is definitely not my thing, bro. I, I don't understand. Capitalism. Two cents a day is $7 a year. That's it. No benefits. Oh my god. No benefits whatsoever. The benefit is this two, two cent paycheck you get. Fuck. 14 cents at the end of the week, bitch. Better You're lucky out. I don't put a heater in this warehouse. No. <laughs> but sir, it's already hot in here. See my point. So, That's exactly my point. I just, I don't know. I've always had this weird belief in helping people. That's just... That's not very capitalistic. No, you want to, you, you just want to worry about your bottom line, which it sucks. Honestly, I wish it wasn't like that. But once you learn that that's how it is, nothing's going to surprise you anymore. Does it cost them money? Is what you got to ask yourself at the end of the day. That's a good point. Awesome. Yeah. And then I was watching, um, I'm trying to, so. Now that I'm paying attention to politics more often and stuff like that, I'm trying to pay attention to, like, the other side of arguments. You know what I mean? Like, there's a few yeah. things that I won't compromise on, like racism and shit like that. Like, I don't need well, to see... Can't. I don't need to see, a, you know, a Karen's point of view. Like, that's, that's somebody I don't need. 
No, pay the only thing I can do with a Karen is show her where the fucking Chipotle is. You can go speak to their manager. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I was looking at, you know, different benefits of having free health care and not having free health care. You know what I mean? Like having privatized yeah. health care where everybody has to have a private agency or whatever. And I tried to get out of my big black brain. You know BBB. I mean? the, the BB. The BBB. Not the BBC. Not to be Ooh. confused with the BBC. Uh, we don't okay. talk about that here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That gene is within me. I promise you. Uh, <laughs> no, those genes are on me. Yeah, these genes are on. They don't fit. Because, you know, right in the middle region. But anyway, the point that I'm trying to make here is I really sat down and I thought, yo, there could only be good benefits to providing people. Right. Yeah. Turns, out, turns out there's not. <laughs> turns out uh, people are just going to use that as an opportunity to be as lazy as possible. Uh, if you have somebody like me who I thoroughly use free health care. Thoroughly. Oh, yeah. I'd be, trying to, I'd be trying to go to the dentist. I'd be trying to go to the doctor as much as possible. I try to use that shit because I want to be healthy because I want to work. Then you have some other motherfuckers who don't want to work. They don't want to go nowhere. They don't want to do nothing. And so they, utilize, they exploit these systems that we have in place. But I also feel like there's not that many people doing that. I mean, don't get it wrong. There's probably hundreds of thousands of those people in total. Yeah, I don't think that's enough to make a decision. Oh, we should we should make everybody pay for their health care. Yeah, it's it's jarring to it's jarring to feel that like we'll put this amount much amount of money into it, but you know only so many people are are going to use it. So many people will exploit it. So fuck everybody's health. Yeah, that just seems like that's a little fucked up, and I don't know. I'm not very good at politics. I'm only good at, like, because I don't know shit about shit. I'm never going to tell anybody I know anything about anything. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, but I'm always, like, willing to learn. So as I, like, read and try and, like, research, like, the state of California, what, spends, like, 90, I think it was, like, $9.2 trillion or something in, like, taxes. Like, that's how much they receive in taxes. Yeah. And, and I'm just like, huh. That's so interesting. $9.2 trillion is such an infathomable amount of money to me. You would think we would have less of a homeless problem. You would think we would no. have less of a, of a mental health issue problem that causes homelessness. Or education no. problem that causes mental health problems that causes a homeless problem. You know what I mean? Like It's this weird domino effect of like, hey, maybe if we use some of this money, instead of lining the pockets of politicians, we should actually take care of the people who live here because then they would make more money to pay more taxes. Comes right you know what back I mean? to what I said earlier, man. It doesn't benefit the people that get the money in the first place. It, that's, man, that's what I'm saying. Like, yo, let me... I'm not getting an immediate return. Like, these homeless people... Like, if we got homeless people off the street... Let's imagine a utopian society, first of all. Okay. Sure. We suddenly let me look up to what that word people. means. <laughs> for, for... <laughs> Shut up, fucking dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Say we lived in a society that... Like tomorrow, okay. everybody started caring about people, right? Oh, Especially people yeah. like, you know, so we're going to use that tax money to help fix homelessness, right? All right. Let's say they start dealing with homelessness, mental health issues, education. Uh, there was like two other points. There was like five major points, right? But let's just say for those three. Racism. Using those three. Yeah. Uh, racism is obviously in there. That's, you know, can cause homelessness, I guess. I, I can find a way for that to... I, trust me, if it involves systemic racism, I can connect it. I can figure gotcha. it out. I'll make can, it work. I can map quest that bitch, no problem. I promise you. I really can. Google, so, give me directions for racism. <laughs> 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 so, let's say we decided to try and you know, make an effort and spend X amount of billion and trillion dollars to fix this, right? You yeah. mean to tell me that the return on that investment in the next four years when we elect new GAs, when we affect, uh, elect new uh, city council members, all this other shit, that in four years you're not going to make a beneficial difference to now turn these homeless and mental health issued people, you know, housing impaired people, 
housing impaired housing impaired people roof <laughs> challenged <laughs> roof challenged uh they're that's not going to convert them into uh registered voters you know what i mean uh, like it just yeah. it sounds it sounds like in the long term like in a 4 year span if i could fix homeless homelessness by getting at least I don't know how many homeless people there are in just in the city of Los Angeles, let alone the state of California. Let's look it up. If I could get, yeah, roughly, let's look it up. How many, how many homeless people in the city of Los Angeles? Uh, homeless people in the city of Los Angeles. They'll, they'll uh, never be able to get an accurate count, but. About 66,500 people, so give or take. 66,000 people. Motherfucker. If I could at least get 10,000 of those. Yeah. Off the street into jobs or at least into some type of mental health program or anything like that and say in the next four years in that four years they change their mindset they change their life and this is let's say even 10 percent of those people you know what i mean like 10 percent of that ten thousand, which is a hundred what no it's a thousand it's a thousand it's a thousand because you know your boy is bad at math i'm good at reading bad at math it's because we were um, homeless during those years because, right? yeah i was i was homeless at one point in time um that's a thousand extra people that are now able to convert money into the city. And we don't know what those thousand people could be doing. A thousand yeah. people is, is a lot of people that suddenly are now paying more taxes. A thousand people is a lot of people to suddenly be contributing to society. And if these people are contributing to society and paying that 9.5 income tax every sale, paying the fucking 13% uh, income tax, the 9.5% sales tax, the, uh, God forbid, if any of them be uh, business owners, because then they have to pay taxes on that. Oh, I'm a politician. In this four years, I'm about to be lining my pockets, be up for re-election. I think that might be a, pr a pretty significant change. And that's yeah. just ten thousand out of the sixty thousand, you know, estimated. Because it's probably yeah. way more than sixty thousand, bro. This is definitely more than sixty thousand of these. Moments. Yeah, there's some people bro, in their homes sure. that. Niggas living in cars, you know. We gotta stop giving niggas who live in cars parking tickets. If that's not the most bullshit, <laughs> could, you, <laughs> could you imagine living in a house, you know, and then having to move and live in your car? Oh, it's only gonna be temporary. Next thing you know, you got three, four, five tickets, and they put a boot on your bitch. Sir, Girl, this I is my house. <laughs> I can't even move it. This is a mobile home, sir. You can't ticket my residence. <laughs> 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 what the fuck I look like? Oh, I, I can't even move this bitch now because you got a boot on it. How am I supposed to pay this during a pandemic? So, it's, I don't know, man. I, I think in the long run of four to six to eight years, I think the money makes sense. And this is why I always, anytime I ever talk about anything that like changes society, like anytime I talk about movies, music, video games, or anything like that, I always follow the money. Because if I was a rich white man and somebody was fucking with my wallet, Oh, I'm paying attention. Yeah. I'm definitely paying attention. So, you know, you... I mean, fuck money. being white. You should just be paying attention. Shit, man, well... Uh, <laughs> regardless, of, regardless of your race, you should always be checking where your money's going, who you're giving listen, it to. But, but rich and white, is this is a special combination. Rich, I will give you that. Rich and white is very much... That's like... Rich in general. Rich in general, I would be... It depends on how I came up. Because, like, if it was me right yeah. now and I got rich tomorrow... I'd be like, yo, oh, man. I gotta take this out the bank. This isn't mine. Yeah. Nobody's gonna come get this. <laughs> I gotta take this out the bank. That's, that's just right there. Before you niggas change your mind. <laughs> I gotta, oh, I gotta you gave me this. Money. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I this is mine this money. I'm gonna I'm a pop up in Deacon House. Deacon, hide this suitcase. Why? What's up? Oh, I got you. No, I got you here. You got the basement. <laughs> oh, my God. So, you know, it just... Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is it seems like if you follow the money, the money would be there. Mm -hmm. have tons, tons more homeless people that are off the streets. Therefore, people would be willing to park in certain areas. That's a few more dollars for the parking department. You can build more. like they started building off of Eighth in Los Angeles, right in the middle of motherfucking Skid Row. They Why? have new luxury. They have new luxury apartments going up. Lu in Skid Row. In Skid Row, three thousand dollars for a single bedroom. Fuck that. Does it come with my own crack horn? Bro, it might. <laughs> Honestly, it might. And it's just, I would feel some type of way if I walk outside and there's like a line of tents. 
You know what I mean? I would yeah. think they're camping out for something, for something at my house. Would y'all waiting yeah. on a release for something? Yeah, what's going on today? Somebody got some shoes coming out? I don't understand. Yeah. What the fuck is this? We dropping, we dropping Halo, Halo 6? Halo the 6 came out, out yesterday. Oh, shit. So, you know, it would just... And I've been watching a lot of uh, YouTubers, even today. Like, I was watching a, a couple of them that are talking about, you know, these rich white people talking about, I make six million dollars a year and i pay two point some odd million in taxes and blah 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 i'm like yo that's a lot of tax money yeah they're moving to they're moving to the midwest they're moving to vegas and stuff like that and they all have this like cynical attitude about moving and like getting away from la which is fine it's, yeah it's fine get the fuck out because you can go there yeah but then when they flip the conversation about we don't know why anybody would live there when you can Make the same amount of money and live anywhere else. Like, probably because we're not making that money to begin probably, with. Probably because I'm not white. Yeah. Oh, that you too. Know, you know what I mean? Like, like not being white has been a real hindrance on my life. That's I don't know if I ever handicap. told you guys this. Yeah. Not every yeah. day. I mean, I'm beautiful as fuck. Let's let's not get it twisted. This bronze look great on your boy. But black is beautiful. Some, yeah. It's just some of being that pale, stale chicken color. That's just. Oh man. It, it hasn't afforded me specific luxuries, you know. And of course, because of systemic racism, Let's, yeah. you can't forget about that systemic racism. Uh, I don't know where the fuck I'm going with all this, but the point I'm trying to make is, I do not think that it would not be in the best interest of rich people to make sure broke people make money. How else do we spend money? I mean, we gotta spend the money, right? We have to. We all have to spend money. So if I had more of it, you'd make more of it. I mean, just look at Jeff Bezos. Yeah, that's a very... Could you... First of all, how much... Dee, can Google this for me. How much money okay. is Jeff Bezos worth? Uh, I think it's in the billions? It's oh like 200 much. billion something, right? Yeah. Uh, it's 175 billion. 175 billion dollars. Um, hold on. And I'm Let sure just... that's, not, that's not all cash. I'm sure, like, if we had to... If he had to liquidate everything right now, he'd probably make. Yeah. So, Jay, how long have you been recording, real quick? Uh, about an hour. Okay. Uh, the time that we've been talking right now, Jeff Bezos says uh, he's made two hundred and twenty. Or no, he's made thirteen. In the time we've been talking. He made how much? Thirteen billion or thirteen million dollars in the time we've been talking. I'm in the wrong business, man. Yeah. They should have sold books online. God bless Jeff Bezos. What a great white man. <laughs> or, what do you think you Jeff know. Bezos' parents are like? Uh, probably dead. Like if they were alive. You, think, you ever think um, they'd be like, God damn it, Jeff, you can't do nothing right. Like when he was six years old, you ever think his parents look at him like, damn, one day you're going to do great things. Or you... I don't know what his parents were like. I think, I uh, speaking from experience, I think they... they were probably abusive, and his success came out of an area where he wanted to prove them wrong. Yeah. That makes a little Yeah. I wish I had abusive parents. God damn it, my father was there for me. <laughs> but, listener, if you have abusive parents, you can make your own podcast about it. Honestly, mm. yeah. yeah. And, which leads me to today's sponsor. <laughs> You can start a podcast absolutely for free on Anchor.fm. <laughs> my daddy used to beat me with an anchor. Yeah, my, my daddy used to beat me with an anchor. <laughs> Definitely. It's absolutely sad. But, you know, he probably wouldn't have beat me if he had his own podcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm <trying to> get <laughs> I just really thought about it. I was like, yo, what if my dad had a podcast about, so this is how I'm going to whoop my son's ass today. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, just to steal the steal the SpongeBob thing. I want to see a a, a a heavyweight bodybuilder start a podcast, but he's also a sailor. Call it Anchor Arms. Wow. How tough are you? That's crazy. Are you tough enough to make your own podcast? Well, hey, he's an man, anchor. You know, I just uh. <laughs> I'm not going to do an ad read right now. I'm going to put the ad read in there later. <laughs> uh, so we're going to take it and pay some bills. So, 
Uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about, and I guess m maybe one of you guys would be excited for this because I, I actually am. I was going to do a whole video about this myself, but we're just going to throw it in the podcast. You guys hear about uh, Spider-Man's live-action Spider-Verse that might be coming? Uh, this is going to be fire. Uh, live-action. I'm not excited. You're not excited? Why are you not, what makes you not excited? Because they can't achieve the sh Well, they can't achieve the shit they did in the first original Spider-Verse, but it's going to be a lot harder. They mixed like three or four different mediums in that first movie. Bro, you saw uh, the most recent Spider-Man, right? Um, the one with Mysterio? Yeah. No. Oh man! Co this shit was Deacon. fire. Deacon. It was you gotta see that one, man. It it's honestly okay. So as a kid, right? Picture this with me. Uh -oh. Close your eyes. I'm gonna need you to visualize All right. this. All right, I'm closing them. So why is it dark in here? As a kid, first of all, it's gonna be dark. I'm painting you a picture real quick. Oh no! So as a kid, you're imagining Spider-Man, right? One of the okay. greatest superheroes of all time. Pretty like, man, there's but absolutely I... no way this could ever. The things that happen to Spider-Man, there's no way it could be real. None uh -huh. whatsoever. Okay. Spider-Man: Homecoming makes that happen. Mm. And I, I promise, you, like this fucking illusion wizard, they they came up with a way make it seem like this guy could legitimately in real life make you see feel hear and touch all of all of the just oh wait i opened my eyes can you start over no Damn. i can't i can't because that's it it, it it's a momentary <laughs> it's a momentary piece of time that you just you feel like it like this could never be real like you know when you watch the avengers and you see hulk running around and like this big motherfucker can't this this ain't it this can't be real. And you see Thor flying around with a magic hammer and shit. You'd be like, ah, oh, this ain't real. Then you kind of yeah, look at Captain America. Matters. You could be like, ah, uh, something's That's... a little strange about a strong white man that just runs around. Nah, it just don't feel right to me. Tony Stark mean... flying around in a bodysuit. Like, you mean you just... tell me he freed the slave instead of what? I don't know, man. I'll just listen. That's a... That's a completely different thing. I have this thing about Captain America being a racist that I need to put in a video, but that's a different, <laughs> that's a different conversation for a different day. So, Damn. anyway, the, what Panther? I'm saying, what I'm saying is, Sp oh. that Spider-Man movie really made, uh, like Mysterio of all villains seem like the level of special effects it would have taken to make this character actually come to life and feel real, and they managed to put it into a movie successfully. You know, okay. it wasn't it wasn't cheesy, it wasn't corny, it didn't look like, like ah hey, you'll never stop my evil plan, Spider Man type type thing. You know what I mean? That he's always been in both the comics and, you know, the fucking animated series and stuff like that. This guy was genuinely like you were rooting for him. You were like, yo, this He got you. He got you, Spider Man. That was it. It's over for you, bruh. It's over. Like this is your last movie. They putting you in a box after this. Aunt May is getting smashed while crying, thinking about, oh my god, Peter. <laughs> oh, boo-hoo. Like, it's, it's happening, bro. So, I, gotta see it, man. You gotta see it. Absolutely. I'll put it on the list. Nah, 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 man. You gotta put this shit at the top of the list. Are, Deacon, are you even a Spider-Man fan? Like, you just fuck with Spider-Man, or? Like, I'm not gonna go out my way, but if, if he's there while I'm there, I'll wave. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a little nod, you know, cello lean. That's that's the most interesting way I've ever. <laughs> wow, I okay, all right, you got me. I'm not I'm not gonna break an appointment for him. Oh, okay. Well, Damn. I mean, I'm excited for Spider Verse. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm gonna be excited. I, I want to. I really think after that last Spider Man movie, I think there is no. There's no such thing as impossible. Impossible. Oh. Definitely not Kim Possible. Sorry, that joke didn't even that that didn't even that didn't even go anywhere. You want to put that away, please? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You cut that out. Yeah. Put put your joke book away, Deacon. Now is not the time for that. Sorry about that. Uh, um, but yeah, I'm ex I'm excited because uh, now that they've confirmed and unconfirmed that Jamie Fox is going to be in the movie, um, I think they're really building out this Sinister Six versus Spider Verse thing, man. I'm seeing be, big wheel. It's going to be very interesting. And then they got, there's rumors. Very, very, the same amount of rumors about all three Spider-Men coming together. Yeah, the same rumors about uh, Tom Hardy being in, in Spider-Man 3. 
So I'm very, I'm very interested to see that. I don't see why, why they wouldn't. I don't see why the licenses couldn't cross. I don't see why Sony can't build out a uh, Spider-Verse of their own. So, shit, man. I'm excited. I'm very excited. There's, like, so many, so many theories I could come up with. I could probably write almost an entire script on how this movie would make sense in the MCU type beat. You know what I mean? I mm -hmm. can't. I'm the wrong person to ask. I just, it's exciting to me. It's like watching a, um, a game come out with like endless possibilities. And you're like, yo, if they add this DLC, if they add this character, if they do this, they do that for an entire console generation. Like imagine if Destiny was better. Damn, you know that'd I mean? be a great, that'd be great. That's too much Bruh. for me to fathom. Man, if they, if they decided to take the, if Destiny decided to take the Borderlands 2 model, Damn. Whoo! Damn, that'd oh. be a fun game. My Can't nipples relate. are hot right now at the idea of a Destiny Borderlands, you know, program. You know, I don't know what the fuck we would call it. It would be like a campaign or something, but that'd be fucking Dragon Keep, bro, in Destiny? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But that's just me. That's, that's just how I feel. My, my imagination is in, I guess. So. Sounds like it. Yeah, hey, I don't. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off, bro. I really don't. But hey, it is what it is. Hey, but I want to say thank you guys for uh, being on the podcast with me, man. I really yeah. appreciate it. This this was very uh, productive. I feel like I got some therapy done. I feel like I got some shit out. You know. Yeah, I was here. Little... Plank was here. Plank was here. <laughs> Plank, he Plank was here. Yep. Plank was he here. So. Will be in the description. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of Plank, hey Plank, you start that uh, YouTube channel yet? Yeah. Plank's gonna yeah, teach us I'm, how to play a uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh, you, I should have. Oh man, I should have. Let me tell y'all, man. Arrow smoked. Smoked. Really? I should have recorded that. That was so yeah. good. That would have been a great first video. <laughs> yeah, it really would have. Honestly, you could have piggybacked nah. off his name and everything, beating yeah. Arrow H. Stole all his <laughs> subscribers. Yeah, that would have been. Oh it. man. No, no, but for real though, real, real talk, Plank. You ever go yeah. make that YouTube channel, brother? I got a YouTube channel. I just, I just need to. You ever gonna use that YouTube quick. channel? <sighs> Am I ever gonna use that YouTube channel? Absolutely. I just gotta, gonna I gotta it, do man. the video. Yeah. Soon, 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 soon. I need soon that. TM, you soon want me TM. to edit your videos for you? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I just, no. I just need plank audio to play in the. So I feel like I'm not alone sometimes. <laughs> what? Yeah. You know what? I will say that. Yeah. 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 I've. I'm not even gonna lie. There's been a few times where like. I've even said this to Deacon. I'd be like, yo, man, I miss Plank. <laughs> even when we're not really doing nothing, like we'll be playing uh, fucking, uh, what was it we were playing? Mm. Uh, tabletop. Oh, yeah. And I'm just like, I was like, man, you know what would be good? Plank right now. Plank. Like Plank just hanging, just hanging out in general. I don't know what it is. Like, I really want you to make content. Facts. Because huh? I would, I, I just want to hear it. Like, I just want to be like, yeah, that's, I don't know. It's this weird Okay, first of all, pause. Yeah, uh, pause. <laughs> it's this it's this weird kind of like fuzzy, friendly feeling where like, like if you made content, I would watch your videos all the time. Just, just because this... it doesn't that... feel like like if you were to make fighters videos, like fighters tutorial combo or tutorial videos or stuff, I would watch your videos with no intention of ever playing fighters. Fighters, yeah. And and just be like, yo, you, like you just cool. You got the cool demeanor. You got a you. You know, it feels like hanging out with one of the homies because you is one of the homies, though. Just so a was... visual, or uh, a vis, vis, how do you say that word? Visceral? Visceral, visceral. It's just this visceral need to have Plank around. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, and this is not me bullshitting or like trying to tell you anything to like get you to make content or something. I genuinely want you to make content because I, I feel 100% you would be a, a like a thousand percent, you would be an amazing content creator. Yeah. Like, even if you only did fucking podcast if you only did like you're talking about shit for like 10 minutes at a time or five minutes at a time or whatever i would listen because you have like i said pause you have a magnetic voice my dude like i would just <laughs> i tried to, i tried to make that as non like i even threw my dude in there like <laughs> you sound like over a uh, overcompensating like a motherfucker anyway what i'm trying to say is my nigga you got a magnetic uh like personality uh, personality yeah you just like you're somebody i want to hold a conversation with yeah or you somebody sound I like want to listen you to. uh you you demand attention 
not yeah. in like um like a fucking overbearing way or anything. It's just like when you speak, you make people feel like they want to listen to you. Exactly, and not even on some like, this is my you know I'm running the show type of shit. Like no, it's nah. just like like when you offer any type of thing that has words in it, I'd be like, yo, <laughs> my man's got words. Hold up, what's up? Shut up. Jay, Jay did the long form of saying speaking. <laughs> you know how long the visit you show all your work, Jay goes, anytime you use words in a fashion where it comes out of your mouth in any sort of capacity, anytime I want to listen. formulate any type of English combination of letters and pronouns and verbs. <laughs> Maybe some conjunctions. <laughs> Throw some punctuation in that bitch. I'll I'm trying, there. I'll be trying to hear it. You know, I'll be trying to digest it with my ears. So that way it enters my ear canal and goes into my brain stem. And then my brain deciphers and decodes the things that you have said based on previous words that I recognize. And formulates that so my tiny Negro brain can comprehend it. That's a weird turn at the end, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big brain shit, though. Big brain. Last, last four words there were kind of weird. Yeah, big black brain shit. Y'all, y'all wasn't prepared for that whole thing. Anyway, I was not prepared for tiny negro definitely, brain. Definitely not prepared for that big brain shit. I'm telling you, big black brain shit. Um, but yeah, dude, I'm 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 ecstatic for you to to make content. Like, I really I really think that's like, and I'm not gonna put your business out there. I'm not gonna you know, whatever because we've talked about it before. I yeah. think you would do some amazing stuff and go some amazing places if you decided yeah. to actually, you know, commit to make content. And I'm, I'm, and you've known me a while too. Uh, my, my thing is like I'm always trying to help the homies improve, and I'll go out of my way to to do that. Except for Arrow, to his own because defense. Arrow just burned me too many damn times. It's, <laughs> hasn't played enough Arrow, of my Arrow fucking the game. only one. Yeah, bro. Not just that. Like in general, in the amount of time that I've known Arrow. And I'm just like, yo, let's let's do this, let's do that. We gotta get you on this. And like I genuinely feel Arrow would be a really good creator too. It just If he created. If he create like not even that. If he like you at least have the demeanor where you're like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Like every time we have a conversation, it's yeah, I'm gonna do it. With Arrow, he has this weird diminishing yet condescending type of way of saying, well, I'll do it when I want to do it. Nah, I'll shit. see if I can get to it. Yeah, like it's just, it feels like it's a chore to talk to Arrow sometimes. No no disrespect to my mans, because that's my mans. But, but, you... like, but disrespect, all, with all disrespect, that nigga sometimes will come up like, man. But like, then again, that's that's how he is. Like, yeah. Which is which is why I like him. That's, that's why man I went out and got a job. And MacTastic went back to pimping, man. I can't oh, man. This nigga. Come on. <laughs> this nigga went and got a job talking about he need health insurance. The money. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you pull your skirt down? Get the dick out your ass, nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he the dick, old man. Jesus. So, anyway, that's, that's all I wanted to say, man. I think you would make a really, really good content creator, and I, I look forward to you finally do make content. I feel like I'm going to be at least 35 when you first start. And it's going to be really <laughs> annoying because I'm going to be at an age where I want to listen, but I'm not going to have time to listen. I'm going to be like, uh. I'm going to be getting dialysis. I'm, I'm tired. Dialysis? God damn. What do you, the fuck? What do, type of shit you think I'm going to be doing? Yeah, the stress is probably going to kill me, honestly. <laughs> um, I'm telling you, man. I'm surprised stress, you're living right now. Stress is going to kill me, man. I can't. You want to borrow time. Man, I'm trying to get there faster, honestly. This 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 shit is for the birds. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with this life, man. I feel like I've been on this planet a little too long. I feel like I didn't worn out my welcome. So, so what are your life goals? Fucking driving 90 on the 404? <laughs> shit. No seatbelt on. Windows all rolled all the way down. Doors open. Ghost ride the whip. <laughs> you trying to ghost ride the whip? On the freeway. 95 miles an hour. Yes, an hour. sir. Back of a truck. <laughs> Oh man! So what happens uh, if you live? That's but cool. yeah, what, Plank. When when are we getting that first video or something, man? You need some help. What you? How how can I be utilized as a resource so, for you? Like how can I help you? I'll, I'll send you the video when it's done. You gonna there you go. The, the arrow energy wow. right there. Yeah, you. No, 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 no. Oh man, on your deathbed. It, yeah, it's gonna be video. done. I'm telling you. It's, done when though? Week. You're talking about like two to five business days. Whatever the bank does. 
Banks <laughs> closed on Sunday. When the, so. when the money shows up, when the money clears, that's how you know. You'll know. <laughs> Get on text alerts real quick. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, man, thank you guys for being on the podcast with me today. I really appreciate it. This was fun. Yeah, I, uh, no. I, I hate, I, I, and I will say this, this is what I miss about Heavenly Controllers, having, having like, doing podcasts, like, with somebody. Because I don't mind doing the podcast by myself, but it doesn't offer a difference of opinion or any type of pushback. I have to push back against myself and my own type of thinking, which That's is, that it, which, yeah, that is a form of masturbation. But I just really kind of, like, miss the banter, too. So mm. I feel like with my podcast, it's not as, it is fulfilling, but it doesn't feel like the conversation is going anywhere. Like if you didn't, like there, there's no drive to it. You know what I mean? Like there's no, oh shit, the new canon culture is out. I got to listen to it. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't feel that way to me. But I'm also the same dude who doesn't like my own videos. And yet I quote unquote have 7,000 subs. So um, which YouTube apparently feels like I don't. Oh. Listen, man. Listen. Oh. I'm seeing some bullshit on my timeline right now. That means it's time to go. So, uh, But anyway, <laughs> I want to thank everybody for listening to the podcast. You guys can uh, get more at uh, youtube.com slash canonculturepodcast. Um, also, uh, follow me on all of my social medias. You can just Google Just Jay Sama. There's a link down in the description. Um, you can also catch my man Deacon on audiomac.com slash Deacon the Narrator. Uh, that is uh, Deacon underscore the underscore narrator, right? Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so excited. And then uh, when my man Plank finally drops that video, I'm going to make sure to uh, come back to this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> this is just, I'm, I'm waiting, man. I'm telling you, I'm waiting for this, for this content, bro. Like, Don't worry, I, you're going to get it. I'm going to get it. I, I'm going to get I'm it out. I'm going to hype you up the same way I hyped up Deacon when he started making music again. That's it. Wait, and I make music? What? And streaming, yeah. Deacon oh, streams shit. too. Shit. I do hey. do that sometimes. Yakuza Like a Dragon coming next. Oh, the 10th. The 10th? Yeah, man. I mean, you're not going to have time to play Cyberpunk because that comes out on the 12th, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Listen, I, don't even think, I don't even think that I'm going to get Cyberpunk, apparently. Huh? Uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, so it's just not gonna go. Yeah, it's not, it's not gonna go at all. Plank, it sounds like Plank trying to make videos. No, no, Plank knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not that. Oh, it's something. Yeah, the the way the funds are currently active, it's just it's too gotcha, volatile gotcha, and gotcha, it's just gotcha, not gotcha. not in the right space. All right, I'm gonna yeah. see where my bread is at. Ask me on November first. At the store <laughs> still. Yeah, at, at, ask me on November first if 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 I can if I can afford it. I got you. I'll take oh, care. Oh, just trying Sorry, to go find me supported by you and listen, fucking Waldo. Listen, man, I'm just trying to bless the homies, bro. Like that's that's one thing about me though. If I if somebody dropped me a million dollars, I'd be like, how can I make how can I make sure the rest of the homies get a million dollars? Fucking go buy a house real quick with five uh five fucking. Bills. So, I've actually mm. got some pushback against this. I got some pushback wait, wait. because just because we're all in the same house does not mean we all have the same goal and we won't reach the same goals. Oh, you can have your own goal, but, you know, uh, like you said, with the podcast and everything, um, not having someone to talk to, at least with a house full of five people, you at least have people to not only bounce content off of, but have you have support each other with whatever right, they want right, to make. Right, right, right. Now, now, hear me out. Okay. The people in that house currently don't make content. Well, Arrow's not invited, so... <laughs> hey, so now we got four people in the house. Yeah. Out of out of those other out of those other people, mm -hmm. aside from you, Deacon, who else is making content? Content uh, dropping soon. No, 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 yeah, no, content dropping soon. See, Plank will drop I'm some not, content see, soon. See, here's the thing, though. I can't. I'm trying to help the homies as much as possible. Yeah. But I can't. I. It's like uh, when we were trying to get Nightwing and Rin Show to make. Anytime you try to get. When's the last time you tried to get Rin Show to beat, bro? Yesterday, you're trying to get Rincho on the beat. That's what I'm saying, and he just don't. Want I to dig, I don't do want to record because you know, like I don't think my lyrics are good. Because like, how do you think you get better? One, excuse number two. Excuse number. Two. So really, Deacon, what you asking me is to get a two to three bedroom house, and one of those rooms is a studio. That's basically that was just, what you asking me. I was me. just about to say that right now. So you know, and then then keep in mind, I mm -hmm. basically have a whole fucking family I'm supporting now. 
Yeah. Oh, so wait, I got a I got a girl I scream at. I got a side girl I scream at. No, I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> can't afford side bitches. You crazy? <laughs> you niggas dumb as hell. I'm no, just not above with that bro. attitude. Get the fuck out of here. I'm just above. Bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> just <laughs> above broke. Just above broke. Just above broke. <laughs> I'm poor. <laughs> um. So I I have you know dog i have several people coming in and out of my house all all the time maybe not here at this location but if i had if i had more space you know like the unit above me is a yeah. is the exact same layout as the unit i have now but it's a one bedroom and there's like a little area where you know it cuts off and there's room for the bedroom if i just lived there i would have people over my house way more often the reason why i don't have niggas over here now is because a i don't have a couch Ooh. and b I don't have seating. I would have people over here all the time to be playing board games and stuff like that. And I also don't have parking. There's no parking in this area. So mm. it'd be difficult to ask people, hey, come to Koreatown. Like, you know Ooh, what I mean? Ooh, nothing. I ain't going to K-Town. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. See, but when I lived in the valley, it was different. You can park anywhere. You can park in somebody yeah. else's driveway and they wouldn't give a shit. They just send me off with a meal when I leave. Honestly, they'll just drive around your car on their own grass. They don't give a fuck out there. So, <laughs> what know, grass? Them niggas got space. So, <laughs> but anyway, that's beside the point. So I'm just trying to, uh, I'm trying to support the team by trying to support myself. And I think that's my ultimate goal in life. I want to make sure the homies become millions. That's it. That's, that's been, I think that's been my goal in life since I was like in the fifth grade. Mm -hmm. Like I just distinctly remember uh, playing make believe Dragon Ball Z out in fucking at recess and shit with, uh, I remember it was my homie Raphael. Clay That's a fucking Ninja and, Turtle. Bro, it, it is. Man, I remember almost everything about this kid, man. I remember I, when I first met him, I was like, oh, yeah, where are you from? And he was like, Colorado. And the way he described Colorado to me was like it was this magical kingdom of a place. And I was like, I, I was just so baffled as a child. I was like, man, Colorado sounds beautiful. Like, <laughs> The white people, yeah. Uh, oh, man, he was white. He was white. Yeah, yeah that's uh, why it was good he, to him. He was very Caucasian. Um. <laughs> Shockingly Caucasian. <laughs> Shockingly Caucasian. So that explains a little bit. He said, "You are my first black friend," and I was like, "Huh." I didn't think of nothing of it at the time, but probably now, James. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, man. I'm just that's my ultimate goal in life, man. I just want to support the team. That's all I want to do. Yeah. Everybody else that's. I feel like even though even all the other shit that has happened, even though he is far what I would consider beyond me, I would still do the same for Heavenly Kid. That's, that's the whole purpose of this podcast. I would still... I know. I know, Deacon, you don't approve and shit, but <sighs> hey, man. It was, it's just something different about when you live with a motherfucker and you have multiple emergencies and they bail you out every single time without giving you any pushback. They don't be like, well... Jay, I do this for you, and I do that. Don't give me none of that shit, even after the fact. You know what I mean? Like, it's just something different about somebody's character. So either he truly does not give a shit about anything, or he gave such a shit that he was like, I'm not going to be a toxic friend to this person that needs me. You know what uh, I mean? And I, I still feel like I need to repay that. No disrespect. That's Ooh, why he left. Disrespect coming. You know? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> not my anyway, count. thank you guys for listening to the podcast. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, rate the stars on iTunes, go vote. Um, even if you don't vote on a federal level, don't uh, vote on local a local elections. level. Yeah, pay attention to your city councils, your chief, your fire chiefs, your, all that other shit. Your, your ADA, board. your police chief. Please, pay attention to all that shit. Go and Google these motherfuckers. Make them earn your vote. Call the yep. office. Send, send some letters. That's really how you do it. Man, this is, this is a real rough time right now. So, but uh, anyway, thank you guys for listening to the podcast. Make sure to keep it canon. We'll catch you guys next week.